Thanks. Um, my name is Jeff Tan from Singapore Press Holdings. Uh, the question about uh, common agenda um, being sort of uh, g going to be passé in some ways. Uh, some people have approached us uh, with an idea where um, uh, we, 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 sh we were asked to look at what we call customized newspapers, uh, physical newspapers, not the online stuff that we are uh, experiencing nowadays. And they uh, are obviously linking it to technology and uh, it's basically putting stuff on the cloud and pulling stuff in uh, and putting the papers together and getting that to your doorstep uh, first thing in the morning. Uh, what are your comments on that particular aspect of things? I actually think that is one of the solutions, at least in terms of the newspaper industry. Um, three, four years ago, the um, Daily Telegraph in London did an experiment with a thousand of its subscribers where it actually put together a custom edition to a thousand different people where they could pick and choose say which sports or you know if you didn't want sport you wanted more fashion if you wanted more news of a particular country or, or an area they put together a customized edition each each day and actually it played very well the response was very very good the question is how do you take that model and then adopt it for a two million circulation newspaper and we're still working on that as an industry. Part of the issue when you talk about customized edition is everyone tends to think in polar terms. It's either all customized or not customized at all. When in reality, you can put together a newspaper where the editor makes sure that all the bulletin stories, all the very important stories go to everybody, but that the page eight story that wraps around the supermarket ad that's about the wheat harvest and shad instead is maybe a story that you know the reader might want on some other topic or something uh, and the press manufacturers oddly enough are moving in this area too um, man Roland and goss the world's two largest producers of newspaper presses are starting to build digital presses and starting to experiment it initially for commercial printing usages where you can have flyers that go with different topics to different people different households but these are basically giant inkjet printers fed with newsprint rolls where you can actually provide different advertisements and different content per individual home delivery subscriber and uh, so the technology actually is there to do customized editions and to do them in a way that does provide some ability to customize it to each user and there's a newspaper that just launched in Berlin Germany uh, NIU which uh, is actually starting to do this commercially it's only about 10,000 circulation right now it was launched in May where they're trying to do this very thing of doing customized edition based on what people want. So I think you're going to see that in this decade, certainly in this century. Thank you, Vin. I think, Jeff, you've got yourself to lead another task force.